Welcome back to the door of Enchanted Forest, the castle. This is Derwent Pro Color, Dark Violet. I'm just going to continue the work. I am adding extra dark colors with these Pro Color pencils. We just came back from vacation, my husband and I. We have been uh, in Austria for a week of skiing, winter sports, in a beautiful, beautiful village called Damus. And um, we were there with my sister, her husband and their two young children was very very nice and um, we came back yesterday I have to say I am tired <laughs> of the trip back home but I really want to do a little bit of coloring I um, I took a little bit of coloring stuff with me on vacation. When I go coloring with kids or when I want to take my stuff with me when I know there are young children, I always choose Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Here is the black Pro Color. I always choose them because they they can uh, they are so sturdy they can handle being dropped by a toddler or thrown away by a toddler and look at these the pro color certainly cannot i also took the pro color pencils with me and the idea was that I would be very careful because there was a one and a half years old, almost two years old, I have to say, my youngest, youngest nephew, very smart young boy. But I wasn't paying attention. And at a certain moment, he picked up my complete set of Derwent Pro Color and he... Uh, dropped it on the floor <laughs> um, so this is the result I have no idea if, if it's only the tip the point of the pencil that broke off or that the rest of the uh, the lead has uh, broken is broken also um, you know it wasn't very nice that this happened but it will give us information about the sturdiness of the pencil and because I have not made my final review that will take a while I really want to get to know these pencils you know maybe dropping look this one is it looks good it looks like it was only the tip of the pencil that broke off So it looks like Pro Color is able to handle the fall. I'm really sleepy, I have to say. We have been in the car yesterday for 10 hours, I think. No, we have been, the trip lasted 10 hours. In the days before leaving, the Netherlands was uh, hit by a code red storm. And then uh, we went to Austria and ended up in a uh, very high avalanche um, 
the danger, yeah, avalanche danger. There was so much snow falling in the Alps that um, the risk of avalanches was humongous. And uh, we actually, I heard three avalanches rushing down the mountains. It was not uh, in our town, it was uh, on the other side of the valley. Nobody got hurt. And, um, but it was, um, you could, could hear the avalanches rushing down. It sounds like, um, A thunderstorm rumbling in the distance. I wanted to do coloring and painting, but um, I didn't have much time for it. And it was a little bit difficult with uh, the two nephews. The oldest one, the eldest one is four years old. But the youngest one is almost two years old and that one, you know, doing art with uh, little children, it's always tricky because uh, they want to help you and assist you in your own drawing, if you know what I mean. So, so I decided to do, uh, to skip the coloring and instead play with the boys in the snow you know riding with a sleigh the eldest one had his own own little skis so he uh, he was practicing skiing with his mom and dad and he did uh, he did very well very nice I made a, a video for you, several, in Austria, just a little bit of footage. So uh, I will show you a little bit uh, right now. We are in uh, Austria right now, winter sports. And um, we have had lots and lots of snow here, so much that uh, in lots of areas here in Austria, the uh, situation is quite uh, serious with the great danger of avalanches. But here in this uh, village called Damus, things are quite uh, calm, although last night maybe you can see in the distance a little church and the mountain behind the church we heard an avalanche going down yesterday night it sounds like uh, an avalanche it sounds like uh, thunder like a thunderstorm so in here you can see people go skiing and uh, you saw somebody going down. I'm not a very good skier, but uh, I'm starting to enjoy it. Look at that, beautiful. So guys, I'm here on top of the mountain. My uh, husband and his brother-in-law, my brother-in-law too, <laughs> they uh, chose to uh, to ski a red piste, and I'm going for the blue one. The blue one, I find that a little bit easier. So I'm all alone on top of the mountain right now, and not feeling embarrassed to do a little bit of talking to you. 
So over here, you can see that beautiful mountain top. And this morning we went uh, over there. And now I'm going to ski down hill here and then I go to the left. And then I will ski back into the valley. And then uh, we will have some lunch. This is a middle chrome. The Austrian mountains are just beautiful. And in the place where we are, if you are on top of the mountain, you can see right into Germany. You can see the lake Bodensee, Lake Constance. And you can see uh, large part of Germany and then to the other side you know you're very close to Switzerland So now we are back again and it's, uh, I'm really looking forward to continue the coloring and the painting and, well, passion for pencils, activities. Moss green. I saw on the internet that Derwent will launch a new pencil line again. Last year they had this one, the Pro Color, and this year in July a new one will be launched and I don't know much about it, but it's called Derwent Light Fast. And, uh, well, that, that sounds very promising. And they are, I had, I, I read a couple of, uh, a little bit of information about them. And, uh, well, maybe they, these pencils are very good, the new ones. So I hope I will have a chance of trying them in the future. And Derwent is going to launch something else also. They are launching ink tents in little pans, like watercolor. Now, that is exciting. Here I have another color, cedar green. You know, when I work with ink tents, I always tend to use it as a watercolor. Picking up the pigment with a brush and then adding it, putting it on the paper and Clearly, I have not been the only one doing that, because now they are launching a watercolor-like ink tents set with the box and the mixing area and little pans. So that is actually very exciting.
My recording equipment is uh, falling apart. I have this little device, a little thing that I don't know how to, I don't know uh, the English word for it. It's a little thing that you can, uh, that holds your camera, that holds my phone. when I put it on the tripod to start a recording and it's breaking down a piece of um, plastic broke off the device it is still working but I fear it will uh, give away in the near future so tomorrow I will be doing uh, I will go order a new one because of the, if this little thing breaks down then I cannot use my phone anymore for recording so that's not so very nice Here we have deep cadmium. I'm just using the pro colors now because, well, they work fine on this difficult paper in my in my Dutch version of Enchanted Forest. And I really want to get to know them, so I do need to do a lot of coloring with them in order to make a review. Spring is coming and uh, this morning I received a pot of spring from my parents-in-law. They bought a new home, an apartment, and uh, in a couple of months, in two months time, they will be moving. Their cur current house has a lovely garden and they took out, this is grass green, they took out uh, a bunch of um, we say snail clock here yeah? snowbell do you say snowbell in Dutch it's, it's that early white early spring flower white is it snowbell I know the word in English I just can't remember it anyway they digged it up from their garden and they gave us two pots. So we will plant them in our own garden and uh, hopefully they will uh, do fine. Now I'd like to give these stones a little bit of extra color. Storm gray. Well, we had severe storm a couple of weeks ago.
I love uh, watching wildlife and um, a couple of years ago we saw at night a beautiful red fox hunting in the village where we were staying for the winter sports and I was hoping to uh, see one too this year but uh, unfortunately we only saw two dead foxes on the freeway yeah they are such beautiful animals my little nephew uh, he said he was afraid of uh, foxes because he thought they were uh, very big So, let's take a step back and see uh, what this looks like. And um, I suddenly see what I need to do. This background here, I made it blue. And I think it should be much darker. In then three in blue. I'm still not sure whether this blue is a sky or it is maybe just a blue wall. But I do feel, whatever it is, it should be darker. So here is a polychromos in Danthrene blue. Slowly building things up here. I immediately feel the difference between this softer polychromos and the harder pro color that I used before. I can also feel that the paper is um, it is easily saturated. So I take that light touch and a little bit of cross hatching helps to get more pigment on the paper. Thank you for your suggestions. A couple of weeks ago I asked if um, you had any suggestions for passion for pencils then please write them down in a comment and you did and there are some wonderful ideas this passion for pencils is a very unique Thing to me because I let it completely evolve through I don't know how to say it maybe it's you could say intuition is a leading passion for pencils
and if it feels good then I'll do it if it doesn't feel good then I won't Because um, the paper is uh, getting saturated, I have to push a little bit harder. But it is working. It looks a bit uh, <laughs> scratchy, but I can uh, smooth things out, no problem. Here I have Carandash Luminance. And this color is called oh, Thalo Cyanine Blue. You guys um, also help me pronouncing English properly. And I really, really appreciate that. So I now know that the word, word Thalo is not... I don't... I didn't uh, pronounce it correctly. It is uh, in English thalo so thank you for uh, telling me Oh, I'm almost uh, out of video se seconds, so I will have to finish this video and I will continue uh, later on in the next episode. So uh, uh, bye bye.